Good morning friends, thanks for joining me for another What I Eat In A Day as a vegan on Slimming World. If you're new here, my name's Leanne, I'm a vegan trying to lose weight using the Slimming World plan. If you're coming back, thank you very much for doing so. Today is Wednesday hump day and I've already had one coffee and I'm on my second and it's only 9.30. So take from that what you will. Um, <clears throat> my coffee is just uh, an espresso instant mix with 100 mils of Alpro almond barista in there which is one sin so uh because i've had two that's two sins um and then i'm also eating right now a little bit early for me same with the coffees normally i wait till about 10 <laughs> but i'm hungry so um i'm having this uh quiche i say quiche um it's my sort of tofu crustless quiche thing that i made two days ago um so it's basically got uh, loads of veggies in there um, like orange pepper, mushroom, spinach, onion, garlic, chili, obviously tomatoes on top, and then tofu and nutritional yeast. So basically um, for each quarter, so I've got two here, it was half a sin. So this is one sin, this plate. So right now I'm on three sins once I've eaten this. It's lunchtime, half past 12. So um, for lunch, I'm just going with an easy option because I'm in a bit of a rush from those days again. <laughs> so I've got leftover risotto from last night and then just to um, add a bit of speed, I've got some butternut squash that I roasted the other day. So I'm just gonna heat those both up in the microwave. Um, the risotto is pea and mint. Um, the spice kit was from JDC Sinks and um, the risotto has um, onion and garlic, the spice mix, rice, and then I added in courgette and spinach as well, just to um, like bulk it out a little bit. And then um, I raised fry light as well. And then the butternut, and stock, of course. And then the butternut is um, just roasted with some fry light on it. Um, I may, I was just considering doing a bit of tofu, but I don't think I will. I may do some chickpeas. You'll see in a sec. When food retains its container-like shape. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Right, here is the, um, I've just heated this in the microwave, so, and I've just put some salt on it as well. So this is my uh, risotto and butternut, and then I've just made some chickpeas with nutritional yeast on them, but they've kind of stuck to the thing, so. Let me just sort that out. Okay, excuse the mess. <laughs> I just put the lights on so you can see a bit better, but these are my crispy chickpeas that I've just done in the air fryer. They are actually super crispy, focus. There we go. So I just added, um, I used one tin of chickpeas and added two tablespoons of, oh no, there's a hair. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is awkward. Let's continue sans hair. Um, for those who don't know, um, I've, uh, since having COVID, I have had a problem with my hair falling out. Um, apparently it's not a COVID specific thing, it's just a consequence of being seriously ill, you get a nail problem and a hair problem. Um, my nails actually had ridges in them, um, but they've now grown out just about. So, um, but yeah, my hair is still falling out. So anyway, um, sorry about the hair. Anyway, moving on. So these are my crispy, crispy chickpeas and um, they're coated in nutritional yeast and uh, there you go, that's how, that's how crispy they are. Just done in the air fryer, lush. So it's just two sins for the whole tin. I'll probably add some more on once I've taken my little picture. Just sat here eating my lunch and I thought I'd just show you Delta playing. This is why I leave her cage door open so that she can explore around the outside of her cage because she may not be able to fly, but it's at least nice to give her a little change of scenery. So um, yeah, you having fun baby girl? You having fun? You're on camera. <laughs> She's having a funny five minutes where she gets really antsy. <laughs> Delts. Delta. Hello. <laughs> anyway, you can see how she moves around as a budgie who cannot fly. You're a little cutie, aren't you? Good girl. Hello. <laughs> it's now 10 to 2 
and uh, I have a meeting in 10 minutes. I don't know when my day has devolved into meetings all the time, but hey hey. Um, I'm having a Alpro strawberry and raspberry go on. Um, this is one and a half sins. I forgot to say, also a cup of after dinner tea. It's about four o'clock right now, and I'm just making my like sweet coffee thing I have. So I'm using my 300 mils of almond milk for three sins. I'm using um, obviously a shot of espresso and then some caramel and vanilla syrup, totaling two sins for two teaspoons of each because they're half a sin each. Got my coffee. This is five sins in total, as I said. Um, I'm not sure if I want it or not, but I also have a banana here. So if I fancy something, I will have my banana. We just walked down to Sainsbury's and we're just walking back. And my God, the color of the sky is insane. Look, it's normal. But kind of grey over there, and then this just fluorescent salmon. <laughs> so uh, me and Mum just got back. We went for a walk um, just down to Sainsbury's. So I just picked up some salad stuff. Nothing exciting today, I'm afraid. Um, and I'm just getting some um, starting my dinner, but not um, making it yet because we're going to uh, have a drink and watch it. An episode. Um, so I'm using JD seasonings again today and I'm trying the spaghetti meatballs um, because I bought this scary looking vegan mince and the reason I bought this one is um, because it should be able to be molded and I just really wanted to try it. <laughs> like you know I might not like it but it would be nice to try the meatball seasoning as it's intended. So I'm just going to quickly make that, I mean literally you put that in a bowl you put the seasoning through it, mix it up, make it into little balls and fry them off. So that's what I'm gonna do now as prep and then later on I'll just put the rest together. <laughs> Still quite pleased with myself for the mostly uniformity of these. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty gross doing it. Me and mum were both a bit grossed out <laughs> by the look and uh, feel. However, um, the spice mix smells gorgeous. So hopefully these are actually gonna be really, really tasty. Right, these are looking much better and they actually smell really nice now as well. Um, they're not really doing much now. So I'm probably just gonna take them out. I assume this is enough. I have no way of knowing. Um, I've never cooked meatballs in my life, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think I tried lentil balls once, but they were not very good. Anyway, um, the recipe just said for onions in the sauce, but I'm adding extra veg, of course. I've just been sautéing in fry lights, uh, one onion, one courgette, one orange pepper, and a whole pack of mushrooms and also some garlic. Um, I've only just added the mushrooms in, but the rest has been going for a a few minutes so I'm just gonna uh, get this cooked down and then add in some tomatoes pop the meatballs in and just let that sit and simmer right this is all cooked down enough now so uh, the recipe did say two tins of tomatoes but as always I like a little bit more flavor so I'm doing one tin of tomatoes and one passata with garlic and herbs because it just adds tons of flavor and it's super easy. These are my go-to convenient item. So there's one thing I recommend. Let's grab yourself some of those. Anyway, um, it does also say about adding 400 mils of stock, but when I did that the other day to a recipe, it made it too watery. So I'm just gonna put the stock cubes in as they are because it is gonna sit and simmer and um, I don't want it to be too juicy because it's only going on spaghetti. Um, the stock cubes that you've just seen me add are, uh, one's just a normal vegetable stock and the other one is one of these smoked chili and tomato ones just to add a little bit of different flavour. I'm just going to mix this through and add my meatballs back in. Okay, I've turned this down, added in the meatballs plus all the little scrapings that I got from the bottom of the pan um, and I'm just going to pop a lid over this and let it simmer very slowly I'm actually going to turn it down one more and let it simmer very slowly for like an hour while the sauce was cooking I left it really really low on a simmer and uh, I really needed a snack so I had some of my little pumpkin oat cookies that I made yesterday and these work out at three and a half sins plus healthy extra B 
it's just about 10 past eight um, and I've just got home after dropping mum home and um, everything's looking fine. Um, I turned this off when I went out and I've just put it back on just to heat it up but it's still really hot so that's actually looking okay. Um, yeah and then I'm just cooking up my whole wheat spaghetti. I'm not adding anything else to it, it's too late, I can't be bothered, I'm tired. Right, um, it's all done. It's now half past eight, so awesome. Um, obviously I've got four portions out of my uh, meatballs and sauce. It works out as two sins a portion and that is just for that Meatless Farm mince. It's just two sins per 100 grams and it's 400 grams in a pack. Um, this is my dinner. Definitely did too much spaghetti, but hey, hey. <laughs> And I'm just topping with some grated cheese. This is um, the Ilchester Mature Melty one. Uh, just, again, I went down to Sainsbury's, um, <coughs> excuse me, like I said, with mum, and there's definitely no diet, and they've stocked up the shelves. Like, the shelves are really, really full, so there's definitely not gonna be any for a while. So, that's that. Um, so I'm having to continue to sort of cheat. I'm not having to, but you know, it's still a source of calcium, I mean. Anyway, there we go, there's dinner, two cents. Hey guys, it's now about 20 past 10 and kitchen's clear finally. Um, I'm uh, just having uh, my little bit of chocolate for the evening. Um, so I've just got these Montezuma's um, salted caramel dark chocolate half moonies, they call them, like little semicircles. Um, and they are seven sins for 25 grams, which is about six of those. And then I'm also having a cup of after dinner tea. After this, I will be having a cup of nighttime tea and that will be it. So I'm finishing today on 23 and a half sins. So happy with that. It's way day tomorrow. So I'll be interested to see how I've got on. Um, oh, and the meatballs for dinner. Uh, obviously I've not tried that meatless farm stuff before. <laughs> It was really scary, um, but I've got to give it to them. Like, they held together very well while they cooked, and I didn't like the smell of it raw. <laughs> but once they'd been cooked, and obviously I had mine cooking for a long time, like the sauce with the meatballs in it, I mean, that was cooking for probably an hour and 20 minutes on very low on the stove, just because uh, I, was, I was doing other stuff. So, um, yeah, um, anyway, sorry, so I don't know if that's uh, why, but um, they they came apart very easily, but only when I was using my fork on them, when I was eating uh, the, the meatballs and sauce. So, yeah, I mean, they worked very well. The spice flavouring was delicious. Obviously, I don't know how much of that was the spice and how much was the uh, meatball-like stuff, but um, the spice was gorgeous, definitely, because it smelled really, really nice before I used it. And then, um, like my sauce obviously tasted better than theirs would have, <laughs> um, just because I put more flavour in. And then, um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so I've got four, uh, three portions left. So that meatless farm stuff is 100 grams is two sins. So that was four meatballs. So um, I made 16 meatballs. So I have four per portion. I've portioned up the other three servings as well. So it's all done, done and dusted, nice and easy. That's three more meals essentially taken care of. I didn't add any extra speed today, um, just due to time constraints and the fact it was, hello, the fact it was so late, but uh, in future I definitely would add um, speed on the side, you know, like some green beans or broccoli, courgette, leek, that kind of stuff. Um, but as you saw, I did add quite a lot of extra sort of speed to the sauce, so, um, you know, the sauce was all speed except for the meatballs. So, you know, that's that's good. Um, but yeah, so that was actually really tasty. Um, the texture wasn't, as far as I know, meat-like. It was uh, almost, almost a little bit gritty, but in a good way. It's very hard to explain. But yeah, it certainly wasn't a big solid lump. It was actually, it was unexpected. And I actually really quite liked it. Um, it wasn't like a firm fake meat product, if you see what I mean.
don't really know how to explain it, but anyway. So yeah, so that was a really interesting experiment. And um, I think I would try that stuff again with seasoning. I wouldn't have it like on its own. That would just be gross. But, um, you know, like, like this, where you're mixing spices into it or something, then definitely. Uh, I wouldn't use it in like a bolognese or something. I think I would just stick with like lentils or something for that. But um, yeah, in this format, it's probably like a like a nine out of 10, I would say actually, yeah. Especially with that spice mix, that was delicious. Um, right, I'll stop rambling. I'm really tired, you can see. I mean, look look at these bags, horrendous. Oh my God, they're, oh, they're terrible. Um, as I said, it's now 20 past 10 and I'm uh, staying up till, well, I've got work to do at 11. Uh, seems to be happening a few times a week now, but that's fine, that's, that's just what it is. Um, I'm still getting back in the swing of work really. Um, not struggling as much as I was, but it's, it's not easy trying to use your brain again. Um, especially with my sort of lapses <laughs> that I get. Um, I lose my train of thought, but anyway, it's fine. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I feel like this week's content has been a bit crap, so I'm really sorry if I'm, um, if it's not very good. Um, I was thinking as well, I need to like start trying to plan out my meals a bit more because if Tuesday and Wednesdays are gonna end up being uh, a regular thing that, that I'm doing changes, which it probably is, as in working late uh, or staying up to work late, then I really wanna have my evenings a little bit more organized. Um, but we'll come back to that. All right, cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so, so much as always for watching. Like honestly, I really appreciate it. And I read all your comments, even though I don't respond straight away. Um, it's, it's literally just a time thing um, because I just want to make sure I'm keeping getting these videos up every day. It's really helping me. I love that it's still helping some of you guys. I'll try and get a bit more exciting stuff. I'm, yeah, I'm just doing what I can. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll stop rambling, bye.